Hi, this is Amy Baez, pediatric occupational therapist and founder of Play It Be, here with an episode of Tips and Topics. Today is actually part one of a two-part series called, Is Your Child Ready to Write? Now, I think this is a very important subject because oftentimes I am finding that children are being taught to write at an earlier and earlier age, and this is not necessarily a good thing. Oftentimes, children are not prepared for this skill. It is way above their age level. It is before they're developmentally ready and can actually cause some psychosocial issues because Let's face it, if you're having difficulty doing a skill, you're not exactly going to feel very confident about it. And we want our kids to be happy and confident when they're learning. So we want to make sure that they have those skills ready. So let's talk about a little bit of what I call those six essential foundational skills. Now, number one is posture and balance. When we are asking a child to learn to write, we want to make sure that they're able to sit up at a seat, right? That's very important that they're able to support themselves because they need to use their hands to do other things, not hold up their head, not leaning against the chair. They need to be able to sit up so that they can sit there for a sustained period of time to learn. And if they are not strong enough to do that, then we might want to focus on those skills and doing that, building those skills first before we work on writing. Okay, number two is shoulder stability. Okay, so we want our children to be able to be strong enough to hold their weight at their shoulders. Why? Well, when we're developing strength in our joints, it actually develops from the stronger joints down into those smaller joints of the hands. And so we need to make sure that our shoulders are strong before we worry so much about the small joints in our hand. Okay, very simple concept. Now, next is arm control. Now, basically that the idea of this is, can they vary speed or force um, with for perhaps throwing a ball, right? Can your child throw a ball fast versus slow? Can they throw it hard versus soft? If they cannot vary those, then they're probably not ready to do that in their hands. If they can't do it in their arms because you're going to need that in order to write. Okay, you're going to need to know how to apply pressure um, onto something. So you need to be able to do that. Okay, next is what we call bilateral coordination. Now basically that is the idea that we are using both hands at the same time. When you are writing, you often have a hand that is a helper and one that is a doer. The, ha the helper is the one stabilizing a piece of paper, whereas the doer is the one actually writing. So we want to make sure that they are able to coordinate those two sides of the body uh, in order to complete a task. Okay, next is pencil grasp. Now this is a huge subject that could take a whole nother video to go through. But we want to think about is, is this a functional grasp? You know, is your child able to use the individual joints of their hand? So if they're still holding a pencil like this and you're four years old and you want them to learn how to write, it's not going to work very well. You know, if they're still holding it like this, same issue. Even like this with all their fingertips on that pencil, it's not going to work. They need to be able to use their hand in separate forms from the right side to the left side and be able to use it in what we call a functional manner. So that is very important. It needs to be a mature grasp. Next, we have visual motor integration. And that is basically putting together different forms or lines in order to create shapes. So can they connect them? Can they intersect them? That involves both the eye and the hand to coordinate. 
And that is a very important skill and we're going to discuss that in more detail in our next video. But overall, that is what we have as our six essentials for learning how to write and what your child needs to have before they are ready to write. So we're going to see you in the next video. Until then, you can also check out more information at playap.com and I hope to see you soon and that you have a playful day.